Hello, welcome back to the Mark Janot Show, the tech show about hacking. In this video, I was watching a video on the Sean Ryan show and Ryan Montgomery, who is an elite hacker, uh, pulled out of his book bag certain things that he carries with him as a hacker every day. I thought it was quite interesting some of the items that he pulled out. So uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about them and uh, for educational purposes, okay? And it should be fun. So without further ado, let's get right into it. What does the number one ethical hacker carry daily, right? This is courtesy of the Ryan Montgomery on the Sean Ryan show. So he pulled out a USB Wi-Fi adapter, right? A Wi-Fi adapter is a device that can be connected to our system and, and allows us to communicate with other devices over a wireless network. It is the Wi-Fi chipset that allows our mobile phone, laptop, or other devices, which allows us to connect to our Wi-Fi network and access the internet or nearby devices. But most of the laptops and mobile phones come with inbuilt Wi-Fi chipset, so why do we need to connect an external Wi-Fi adapter on our system? Well, the simple answer is our inbuilt Wi-Fi hardware is not much capable to perform security testing in Wi-Fi networks. Usually, inbuilt Wi-Fi adapters are low budget and not made for Wi-Fi hacking. They don't support monitor mode or packet injection. If we are running Kali Linux or virtual machine, then also the inbuilt Wi-Fi adapter doesn't work for us. Not even the bridge mode. In that case, we also need an external Wi-Fi adapter to play with Wi-Fi networks. A good external Wi-Fi adapter is a must have tool for everyone who has interest in the cybersecurity field. So Ryan, he had a Wi-Fi adapter in his book bag. Uh, he also had what is called the ESP32. Now, what is it? An ESP32 is created by uh, Esprifs. Bro, what are you talking about, man? We're going to try that again. It is created by Esprisf Systems with a series of SOC, which is system on a chip, and modules, which are low cost with low power consumption. This new ESP32 is the successor to the well-known ESP8266, which became very popular with its inbuilt Wi-Fi. ESP32 not only has built-in Wi-Fi, but also has Bluetooth and Bluetooth low energy. In other words, we can define ESP32 as ESP8266 on steroids. ESP32 chip, ESP32 DAO DQ6 is based on the Tensilica Extensa X6 dual core microprocessor with an operating frequency of up to 240 megahertz. This device allows an unnoticeable way to perform Wi-Fi attacks. And then one of the most interesting devices that Ryan pulled out of his bag was what is called a bug detector. And I thought it was highly interesting. Bug detectors though slightly more complex than camera detectors, are fairly simple to use since bugs transmit RF, which is radio frequency signals. Bug detectors hone in on those signals and indicate that there is a bug present by lighting up, making a sound, or both. A bug detector is essentially a radio receiver that is able to pick up electromagnetic signals that are broadcast from an electronic device or, or specifically a bug. So those were the three main tools that uh, I was fascinated by when he pulled them out and explained to him. But I wanted to kind of explain it my way. Uh, I, I encourage you watch the show. Uh, it, it was highly interesting. What are some tools that you think that he will pull out that you like uh, and why? Uh, some tools that you think that are better than mine's. I want to know your opinion. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notification bell. I love you. Stay safe. See you on the next video.